grew up in this little village right smack on the Norwegian border. So I knew Norwegian, you know. So when I w visited him, we spoke Norwegian to each other. And his house was bugged, you know. But they couldn't figure out what we were talking about, you know. So they were immediately, two police cars came up outside the building, you know. And they were walking around, showing, you know, walking back and forth. And Giri usually went out and said, he will stay for at least four hours. You can go and eat, he said. That aggravated them even more, you know. When I finished school, went through the gymnasium, you know, and had done my military service, I had to kind of decide what to do. And I told myself I had three choices. I could start law school. I had enough points to get in on the law, to, to law school. I could study for another year and get into uh, study medicine. Or I could right away start to work as an assistant in photography. And I thought I gave photography half a year. And uh, so I worked half a year for a group here in Stockholm called Tio Fotografer, 10 photographers. And they were, excluding Lennart Nilsson, they were the 10 best photographers in Sweden at the time. And uh, while I worked there, I happened to see some photographs that were taken by American photographers. One was Irving Penn and the other one was Bert Stern. So when I had worked there for half a year, I thought I will give photography another six months. I will go to New York and see if I can, if there is any possibility to get a job with one of these, of the two. You would like to sit here, okay. facing? Facing you? Yes. Uh, with uh, the back like this? Yes. Okay. And you can just? Yeah, yeah. Do things, whatever you want.